so these were the boots from Royal Enfield that I was using for the past two years. Uh, I bought them for about 8,000 rupees two years back. They have served me pretty well in terms of comfort, in terms of protection. You can see these are all mucked up from my last weekend's ride and I used them in Ladakh as well last year. The only issue that I had faced with these boots essentially was they were not waterproof and to have waterproofing in your riding boots is very important because when you travel to places like Leh and Spiti although you do it maybe once or twice in a year but you don't want your feet to get wet and all soaked up in water in that cold weather so that's why I decided to invest in riding boots which would provide me a good amount of waterproofing so it's time to bring in the Forma ADV boots so let us unbox these new boots I have this big knife with me and let's get started. Let's see what we have inside. I am having a first look as well. I ordered the brown color. Hopefully it is the brown color. Yes it is. There you go. All new and beautiful. That's the first look for me and for you as well. So they come in this big cardboard case. Let's put this aside. I just love this color. I think I made the right choice in terms of color at least. up in my hand the first thing that I noticed is these are pretty light these are not those heavy boots that you would have to struggle with throughout the day also the sole seems very well rubberized in terms of heights they are going to provide you protection for three-fourths of the way up so that is sufficient um, and that is important as well from a comfort standpoint I think the waterproofing is there till this height till the second buckle so you should be pretty comfortable if you decide to step over on those shallow water crossings which are there with this sort of height. So let me now show you how these boots fit in and I'll tell you how comfortable they feel as well. So let's just open these up. The buckles feel very nice and tactile. So there is a nice feel to it. Uh, yes, you have this flap here with velcro which opens up so that's the packing with those inflated poly bags there is a plasticky feel to it but again i think it contributes to the fact that these boots are so lightweight from the inside you see this liner this area this is where the water protection ends and this is essentially if you have a look at it till the second buckle first buckle and the second buckle so let me just wear these up and tell you how they feel like there it goes I would need to open my riding band to get a proper feel of how this will look like in actual riding That is the third buckle. These boots feel very comfortable as of now. The sole the fitment, although I feel that I am a little bit on the heels because of this big rubber mounting that is there on the sole, but that I think would add to the comfort as well.
in terms of walking they seem very comfortable of course that rubberized sole i think really helps a lot i am almost squatting down and still there is no stress on my heels or on my ankles very comfortable in terms of flexibility as well let us try to jump a little no issues in jumping as so welcome to the next day i was thinking about closing the video down yesterday but i thought i'll just give you some sort of a better perspective by riding in these boots so today i went out riding uh, to and fro the distance was about 150 kilometers i wore these for my adventure boots for about 6 hours and i must say comfort wise i didn't face any issues i think this is one of the most comfortable riding boots i have ever tried and this is in line with what i had read in the reviews as well uh, i was riding in the middle of the afternoon uh, in 42 degrees celsius although i tend to sweat a little less than most of the people i can really vouch for the fact that uh, they were not very warm from the inside the type of protection you get on these boots without getting too technical i can say that these boots are ce certified you have great amount of protection on the ankle as well if you can see this area here and here uh, the the toe is also very solid from the front i cannot press it very hard a few more things that i would like to mention is that it has injection molded front plate pu gear change pad which is this one so this one has an air mesh moisture wicking internal lining also that would ensure there is some amount of ventilation inside the boots as well the buckles on this boot are gh branded and they are replaceable as well it also has this antibacterial replaceable footbed with air pump cleaning system the outer finish on the boots is nubuck leather you have this off-road grip oriented sole with this section this curvature which really sits well on the foot pegs of the motorcycle i tried to saddle on the motorcycle on my versus 650 and it was really comfortable there were no issues in terms of getting the feel of the pegs that i was suspecting yesterday so that turned out pretty good and of course on the inside you have the drytex waterproof lining which is there so that covers most of what you get with these motorcycle riding boots and lastly the price of these boots they are almost double the cost of the royal enfield shoes that i bought two years back but i am getting some great stuff great quality here and this is just my initial impressions of the forma adventure boots i'll be going on a long ride in the next one month uh, possibly in the next two to three weeks where i'll be traveling to lay and that would be the best test for these riding boots I'll be sharing a detailed review with you guys of how these boots fared. That would give you a great idea of whether to invest in these boots or not. I've heard a lot of great things about these boots and I really hope they live up to their name. Where can you get these boots? I ordered them online and in the description box below, I'll be sharing the link from the website where I ordered these boots from. Do let me know if you have any questions about these boots. Just post a comment down there and i'll be happy to answer any questions that you have regarding these riding boots hope you like today's video if you like what you saw give this video a like and subscribe to this channel till next time love peace and strength bye bye